With Star Wars Battlefront 2 no longer receiving updates, the question that was soon asked was, well, where's the next game? There was simply no official announcements for future Star Wars games. Well, that changes today with Star Wars Squadrons, which was leaked on Xbox.com earlier today. Now, this wasn't the first leak. We did get a peek at the game earlier this year when a Twitter bot, PSN Releases, accidentally leaked Project Maverick. And it turns out this is in fact Star Wars Squadrons. So in today's video, we're going to run through everything we know so far about this game and when it's coming out. And if you want fast, immediate updates on the project, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss out. Only mere hours ago, the Xbox.com website accidentally pushed live some of the artwork and the final title of the new Star Wars game. Compared to the last image we had back in March, this one gives us an awful lot more detail. With the artwork of the Rebel and TIE pilot and the various fighters we see surrounding them and the slogan pilot wanted, we can strongly suggest that this is going to be a fighter combat type game, much akin to the Starfighter Assault or the Fighter Squadron gameplay seen in Battlefront 2 and 1, which in fact makes quite a lot of sense, since an already well-established engine has already been developed for the Battlefront games. And it's been a very long time since we've seen a detailed Star Wars light simulator game. But let's have a deeper look into the artwork. We see a lot of your standard X-Wing, A-Wing and U-Wings flying straight towards what appears to be your typical called TIE Fighter, TIE Bomber, TIE Interceptors and TIE Reapers, indicating to us that these are all types of spacecrafts you'll be able to fly within the game. We even think each of these fighters will have a unique role and objective. We have sources suggesting that this will be a multiplayer experience, which makes sense as with Jedi Fallen Order having more games coming out in the next few years, serving as the single player series for Star Wars games, we can expect this one to be the next multiplayer game experience for Star Wars, now that Battlefront 2 has wrapped up work. This entire project also coincides with the earlier announcement that there is a Star Wars game coming in the fall, but with no information following up on that. And with E3 being cancelled and the PS5 announcement, we absolutely expect a trailer to arrive any day now, and we'll be the first to cover it when it does drop. But other than that, that's all we have right now. We expect this to be from EA Motive Studio, who did work on Battlefront 2, but they were more focused on the single player campaign for that game. But it does appear that they are stepping up to be the lead developers for this Star Wars Squadrons project. According to our sources, we do expect there to be some sort of single player experience that will be a few hours long, but the multiplayer aspect will be its focus and that EA plans to release this game for PC and consoles this fall. We seriously expect this trailer of the game to drop any day now. But my question of the day for you guys is, what do you think of this project? Are you excited for it? What do you think it will be? Some are possibly hoping for a Rogue Squadron reboot. Others hoping it will be a more fleshed out Starfighter Assault game mode from Battlefront. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. We read all of them and try to get back to some of you. Other than that, I have been Charlie, you've been watching X2, and I'll see you in the next video.